Hi, happy August 1st. I'm so excited, I remembered without looking. Uh, August 1st, side of the Ascension Friday's channeling. Welcome to the show. I'm Roxanne, and I'll be channeling for you today. Very exciting. This is Osiphius, once again. Our eternal thanks and gratitude for vibrating into this reality, co-creating this moment of extension, expansion. Choose what you will. Truly, it's only one thing and one thing only. That is remembrance of yourself. Every choice is a remembrance of yourself. Every action, every experience, every now is only for you. Only for you. Do you really believe for one second one fathomable second that anyone has free will over you? That would have to mean that God created entities himself in inequality. Really? I like you. I love you. Eh, you're not bad. <laughs> hmm. So that means polarity exists all the way up there, so to speak. Everything is a choice. All of your choices have been set up by you, knowing full well, once again, you, what you're getting into, where you're going to go, how it's going to play out, by your free will choice of all your billions of probabilities to experience on your journey home, to completion, to remembrance, to awakening, to become the supra-conscience Christ. Hmm. Equatable, that is. So everything in your reality, if you would choose to look upon it as excitement instead of victim, what did I do to deserve this? I chose to deserve this. Why? Why do you choose suffering, pain, anxiety, enslavement? So you know what you don't want. So you heal the illusion. For the brethren that are deeper in pain than you are, and have no way out, and escape through suicide, alcohol, abuse, being abused, they can't find their way home. But for those way showers, awakeners, eternal love givers, with no effort, oh no, you are the ones that are choosing all of those understandings for your understanding, your personal reality of experience, assigning it meaning to your perspective of your beliefs, to receive the feeling, to change the feeling into a knowing, and that knowing is now wisdom, and it's done. You've healed it. You're closer to home. You're that much more, if you will, complete. So what are you choosing in the fashion of understanding every moment? What are you choosing that moment to be? Experience of remembrance with an excitable approach. Remember, you have time on your side. It's an ally. You know what's coming. Every single one of you do. All you have to do is just let go and not guess. It's truly not guessing. It's a probable reality. But that vibration of guessing shields the idea of knowing, which every single one of you know, all you have to do is choose that you are knowing of your approachable moment. And in that approachable moment, you know what's coming. And in that moment, the choice is yours to vibrate at the frequency you choose to. Your soul urged you to the moment to experience. Oh, interesting point. We'll do that. Hookers. Hmm. They chose to be hookers, but we want to give you that polarity, disgusting, not, not worthy of being, let's say, a human, using themselves in that fashion. Well, they chose it. So, 
Here's your task. Judge it or not. Give that entity the love and expression of understanding the accomplishment of them choosing their reality. A joyous moment for everyone to perceive because that is their individual journey where? Hope. Are you on a journey for hmm, haphazard reasons? I dare say no. I believe, ah, I know. Hmm. See the difference? I know that you all are here to wake up. There's two ways to wake up. Alive or after death. Either one is an explosion of energy, unforgettable to your personality complex, a grand day, truly. So your vibrational moment of that received reality, look at it as joy. Approach it. This is happening to me. I'm the victim. Why is this happening to me? I'm the victim. No, you're not. Every single moment is a choice. You knew it going in. You set it up, all of them, for your breadcrumbs on your path back home. To reflect upon. And once again, why, once again, why, 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 why does history repeat itself? Why does this keep happening to me? I'll tell you why. Because you neglected to understand it in that moment, which is okay, because that in and of itself is experience and expansion. So it circles around again and says, hello, I'm here again. You have two choices, damn it, awesome. Choose. Awesome is the vibration, perception of your free will choice in the eyes, through the eyes, with the eyes of love. The Godhood that never left you. Ever. Ever, ever, ever. You have that ability because it is you. You chose this. You have the gift to choose. The approach to that moment, the perception of that moment, in remembrance on your journey home once again. We are reiterating this because this is good stuff, as we call it. Because it gives you the understanding of your own universe as you choose should be looked upon in the eyes of glory, in the eyes of grace, in the eyes of the gift of being human. Humanity is an epic, 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 oh yes, we'll talk about that, epic species. Let me tell you some things about humanity that does not exist in any of the other nouns. Flash mobs. Expressing your joy. All around the world, people are just doing their joy. And they attract an audience. And that audience is feeling their love, their expression. Humanity just being themselves in the moment. And everybody, no matter hard or encrusted that being is, if they're in that vibrational reality, they will tap their toes. They will sing along. They will shed a tear. Because it's a reflection of remembrance, recognition in the mirror. There are no other flash mobs in all the nows. Because everyone in other, other nows, not your now, all out there, not here on earth, are already understanding what they are. So the difference between humanity and them as they're expressing in the moment of their free will. You're expressing in the moment of your free will and limitation. Out of that is birthed several thousand ideas never to be realized without humanity's existence. So we want to round this about in the way. As you count, you're worthy, you're worth it. Know that. We want this to sink in deep. To know that right here, Right here? Are you feeling it? God. Hi. God. 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 Look in the mirror. Look in the mirror. God. Oh, hi, God. Hi, God. Call yourself God. It's okay. Why? Because it's your fundamental right. You were given the existence by God, as God, through God, a Xerox copy of God, the Creator, given the gift of humanity, Listen now. Humanity's ability to create God. 
You are expressing your creativity as a human every single moment. View it as other than that, sustain your limitation. Judge anything, sustain your limitation. But judging it shows you, once again, your limitation. It will come back around again, oh, most certainly, oh, yes. For you to understand that is your path home. That is remembrance to experience, to feel, and understand that's part of all that is. And it only rings true in your heart as wisdom. And it will no longer, let's say, come around and knock upon your door again. Because you will understand it. It's no, it's wisdom. It's in you. Forever. All of your experiences are here forever. So we'll talk about that. In each one of your cells, there's a DNA, right? Realize this. Everything is encoded in one tiny little strand of the DNA. Everything. Everything you've ever done, experienced, and all the nows. And I'm talking your future nows too. It's all there. So if you know that you have access to it because you are creating it in this density, in this idea that you are creating, I think you can start going inside of yourself a little bit deeper and start remembering the understanding of what you have experienced to experience this and what you did, ex or pardon me, are going to experience to remember here. We're asking you to use more of your tools available to you to reach into the future self, to bring the future self here. To reach into the past selves, to bring those here. To understand the completion of the circle that you seek every day. That you are urging yourself on your journey home. Lost in the forest, deep, and find a mark on the tree. That sounds, that looks, that seems familiar. Let me go that way. Highest excitement, joy. Make sense? So understand this, entities. We want you to grasp onto your choice of now is yours. You chose it. And if you think for one fathomable second that anyone has free will over you, then you've missed the point of creation. You missed the point of God. You're shielded. And if that goes against your treasure, that belief, that value system that's in place that you are protecting so dearly for identification, then that is wonderful, for that is ascension. You will find new ways to understand you in the unknown. You will find your expansion less and less being lonely and more and more being filled. If you let go of the treasure that you were taught, that you hold dear as the sanctity in you to exist, if I don't have this, I will disappear. I will crumble. I will lose the edge. No, you won't. You'll become all that is. Beyond your own fathomable idea because you are perpetuating what is known in the forgetfulness, everything you've learned to this now. That you keep pulling up in memory. That's why the 4D vibration for a lot of experience out there is so different than a lot of people perceived it was going to be. It truly is ideally different. It's more epic. It's more grand. You're right in the middle of the game and this is the time. We all know that. So if there's anything that's bothering you, love that bother. Everything that's urging you to experience, follow that joy. For that is your journey home. And once again, the journey in and of itself is an illusion. Because you are already God. You never left. So your journey is really no steps. It's all right here. Go inside to discover your ability. To discover your remembrance. Dig deep in your own love. Fill every crevice with the tsunami of love that is radiating from you. And ascend. The first wave is coming. The first wave of ascenders is at the cusp. There's a little time difference. We'll see how it plays out. But the first wave of ascenders are awakening right now to the idea that they will and can, if they choose, to become an ascended master, vibrate into life, poof, and come back as that. The full remembrance of themselves. 
a walking, talking, Christ conscience idea. Several thousand, truly. See how many plays the game. It is a game. <laughs> Very exciting times. This is Osiphius. We shall take a small break. I bid you a good moment. I don't know. Hi, guys. <laughs> He's so cool. I love him. See, and, and that went over one of my favorite points that I, you know, it's like, okay, the universe has your back. The universe always says yes to you. Ask and you shall receive. But if you are asking, why does this always happen to me? The universe says, yes, this always happens to you. you Here, it. have some more. Have some more. <laughs> have some more. So not a really good question to ask. It's right. Like, yeah. Yeah, take out a victim mode, become a creator <laughs> mode. I love this is happening to me. Well, awesome. and and how does it how does it get any better than this? And you know, what would it take to create my phenomenal life? Now that's a good question to ask the universe. Because then you're engaging the quantum entanglement to bring you something beyond what you can currently imagine. But if you're focused on the past and in judgment and all of that stuff, all that you're not creating rate. anything better for the future. Yeah, because you're pulling that over into your vibration. When you speak those words, it creates the reality. Exactly. It just is right there. That intention, that thought, poof, here it is. And more and nice more mirror. so right now, that process is really speeding up. Yeah. 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 Truly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, we'll take a break. I love you. <laughs>